Hi all, I'm, my name is Carlos. I'm the team lead of the, one of the product teams of the LMS Education Solutions. And it's a pleasure to present to the, the work done during the last spring. Okay, look at the details of the each of one of the goals. So one of them was decided that it was necessary to improve the user perception at the moment of deleting something in the activity. So for this reason, we changed the delete buttons only in the activity to a red color. Also, we uh, we improve in the component library how we are done this. So this is the new one thing in the DB. Next slide. Also, another thing that was commented from UX and PX team was to add a budget to show the teacher which one of the entries requires approval. So right now we have a budget, yellow budget with the new stream pending approval for the entries that needs to require attention from the teacher. Once the teacher approved this entry, we don't able to see the any budget. So that's good. Next one, please. Okay, this is one of the user study will come soon. So it's practically ready to, to go, but we have to review some details. This is a new service state for the teacher for the fields. So it's a new way to guide the right workflow to the teacher to the new way to create fields. And next slide. And the other two user studies that is pending to finish this, this week is a new extra feature is to change the workflow, how the teacher is apply or use or import presets. So right now we can apply or, or use a preset directly without going to the mapping fields. And also we let the teacher decide if he has knowledge enough to go to advanced mapping fields and then mapping the fields if he wants to, to know it. So this is new. Another two improvements that we added to the to the experience with the templates for the teachers. One is to be able to reset all the templates in a one go. Right now, you have to go to one of each of the templates to reset all the templates. And now we have a little checkbox in the model when you are going to reset a template and let the teacher decide if he wants to reset all the templates. And the other one is to fix a clean solution for the select and select entries. Right now we have a bug when you want to select and select the checkboxes because you are always seeing the checkboxes, even you are not adding the checkboxes in the template. So we fix this and also we we fix how we are using with the buttons of the select and select. So if you have all select, you can not select more because you have all select and then you only could do select or delete so this is new of the activity we are reordered the second navigate the second the second navigation so we place the presets before the fields because we think that the presets is more important for the teacher to start using the 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 database activity in an easy way and also we change the tertiary navigation we reorder how the list of the templates is showing to the teacher and also we add in some drop downs on actions on the design navigation to see easy way to navigate for the teacher also for the student and the last goal okay the last goal was align all these small details that we have in the prototype and now we have in the model site for instance all the action icons will be black color also we change the code icon for pencil icon will remove some hidden in the list and single view and also a lot of changes there adding some metadata and also we change how limit the content the, the layouts right now we have a new limit content for the layouts on the database activity and update all the default layouts to have all the new things like check boxes advanced search action menu so that is the last goal that we have in the project and in the spring and the next slide, okay, the next slide is about the assignment project. This project is for MUA and is a way to fix how to download all the group submissions without the download field having repeat for each student and duplicate. So right now we can we can go to the with the assignment activity with groups and download the submissions without any repeat files. You can see two screens here. 
The first one is to the law for when the assignment was forced to work with groups. And the second is with the assignment, you can work with groups as without groups. And right now it's looking fine. So and that's all.